Eagerly anticipated since they were announced earlier this year, I'm really excited to let you know that the 14 new colors of Mabru Alcohol Ink have arrived. Once again, we're able to pass on significant savings. The new and original Reese colors, the whole kit and caboodle, are on sale at 50% off. Also brand new today is Graphics Opaque Black Plastic. Combine the two and you've got a recipe for all kinds of creative fun. This alcohol ink release includes 14 new colors. There are five metallics, four glitters, four neons, and then there's a solid white that's very opaque. Also brand new today is this opaque black plastic from Graphics. Ooh, wicked glare. This is just like the opaque white plastic that you've all become familiar with and have used and love, and it's so much less expensive than Yupo, except that now it's in black. So we have this 9 by 12 size, and that's 25 sheets. We also have a 12 by 12 25 sheet pack and a 12 by 12 4 sheet pack. So there's plenty of options there for you to choose from. Turning our attention now to the inks, something that I noticed right away is that these colors, with the exception of white, all bloom in fairly predictable shapes. Now that wasn't the case with the original release of Marabou Alcohol Inks back in 2019, but it is with this group. Now I'm going to start with the glitter because I think that they're pretty bloody exciting and so I want to show them to you. You can see my swatch cards here and this is kind of my cryptic notation about what the colors are, but you can see that the difference on black and on white is quite significant. If I hold this up so that you can actually see them in the light, well that just glares out to nothing, but here you can see it quite a bit more. Um, and then you look at something like the neons where you virtually can't see them at all except for depending on the angle of the light, and that actually, the angle of the light is going to be important to all of these, especially with the glitter colors because they kind of shift color, so the color you put them on matters, but the way the light strikes them is always going to matter. So let me grab a piece of black and a piece of white, and I'm just going to drop some colors. I want you to see them kind of in action, and the thing that you'll notice is that the metallics and, good grief, I can't separate those pieces, the metallics and the glitters all do that sizzle thing. Now they all have mixing balls, so they all need to be shaken. The glitter versions, these four, actually the stuff, the glitter on the bottom comes up a lot more easily. Um, you do have to make a more concerted effort to shake the metallics to get them to come out. So, or to get them, I'm sorry, to get the stuff up off the bottom. So what do we have here? This is glitter, violet, blue, green. Now this color looks very much like the original rainbow color. So when you use it next to rainbow, you might think that it's the same. It is very slightly different, again, depending on the angle that the light hits it. Now unfortunately the light is such here in my studio that you're not seeing a lot on the white, but really the, let me find the swatch card the glitter colors on the white are not going to be very remarkable. I mean, they're certainly there, and bear in mind that you can mix all of these, so that changes the equation quite a bit, but they're not going to be as dramatic on white as they're going to be in black. So this is glitter gold, bronze, green. Again, I'll give it just a little bit of a shake. Put that here. Now this one, the color is going to be a little bit more obvious on the white because of the gold that's in there. All right, so there's that. All right, two more. What do we have next? This is glitter pink, green, gold. Now, as with the old bottle, sometimes you have to kind of keep them almost level because that mixing bowl does want to impede the ink flowing out of the tip, so you'll learn to work around that. Just something that we do. And then this final one is glitter blue, green, gold. Again, far more dramatic on the black, but I felt like it was important to show them to you on the white also. So, as you can see, there is that sizzle thing that's going on. If I tip these, you're, they're going to run, but you can I can tell by looking at the monitor that you can see the sizzle there. So, there are very subtle differences, again, once these dry, and you'll notice that they are blooming pretty circular, which, as I said earlier, the old ones didn't. Um, when you look at these, depending on how the light hits them, you're going to see slightly different colors. And obviously, as you start to mix and blend and get creative and do all those fun things, then the sky really is the limit. So up next, I'm going to show you the metallics, neons, and then white. Here are the five metallic colors, so violet, yellow, green, blue, and pink. 
as I mentioned a moment ago, these require a little bit more effort to shake them to get the pigment that's on the bottom up and moving. And um, when you shake your white, you might not hear that mixing ball at first. It took, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 seconds of me shaking a brand new bottle to get that mixing ball moving out of the pigment that it was probably sitting in in the bottom. Now, one of the things that I think is interesting is, is if you look at the comparison, and you'll see this again in a second, the color of the background definitely affects the color that you see. All of these metallics on black look slightly different than they do on the white. I think the most significant is the yellow, which on the black looks far more gold, and it's really more yellow on the white. All right, so let's just go ahead and do some drops. And again, you'll note the sizzle, and you'll note that these bloom into nice circles. Right. A little bit of the blue. Let's put that in the middle. Or almost in the middle. Of them, of the, the five metallics, I really am very fond of this blue. It's um, kind of a turquoisey blue, which of course makes me happy because that's one of my favorite colors. And now I have turquoise all over my fingers. Yay me. All right, let's get some green on here. Again, I'm not, I'm not aiming to do anything today other than introduce you to these colors. Working with them and being creative with them, of course, will come a little bit later on in other videos. But for today, with them being so very different, so unusual, and so unlike really everything else that's out there, with the exception of the white, I felt like it was important to just look at these kind of as an entity themselves before I did anything else. Now, here are the metallics. Again, they're kind of moving. They're not dry enough yet for me to, to really lift up. But though you get sometimes perfect circles, sometimes you get fluttery edge circles because that is the nature of alcohol ink and the perverse nature sometimes of the way that it does exactly what you think it's not going to. So you can see that the sizzle is still going on, which means that these are not dry. I'm just going to slide them out of the way and bring in another piece of black and another piece of white so I can pull out the neons. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not even going to bother to pull the neons out because as we saw, especially depending on how you hold them, there is very little color. I mean, it's, a, it's there a little bit, but it's, you're really not going to see it. It's kind of silly for me to reproduce that, but I do want to get them out here on the white, and then I want to show you the white and the neons on black, which creates a whole different interesting effect. So this is neon orange, and you will see that these are very neon, again, very unlike anything that's out there. Oh, and before I forget, so these bottles, just like the original um, Marabou alcohol inks, the, you have to pierce the top. There are instructions on there. You have to pierce the top. Oops, well, that didn't go to plan. You have to pierce the top with a push pin just to open that bit of plastic up. So we'll ignore that and we'll just do this instead. Again, I'm very fond of the pink. It's bright. It's brilliant. It is very neon. Again, they're wet, so I'm just going to slide them out of the way. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is the white. So I'm going to give this a shake a little bit longer than the others because there is so much pigment in here and I'm going to bring in a brush. But I'm not going to use the business end of the brush, I'm going to use the back end of the brush just to manipulate the color and you'll see what I mean in a second. Remember that you can mix any of these colors with anything and you certainly can mix them with white. So I'm just going to put a few drops out here and you can see that the color spreads because of the volume of liquid but in terms of bloom, like the way these bloom, it's a completely different kettle of fish. But let's say, for example, I want to just do this, and I'm going to put this down. And, okay, so there's some white. But let's say I come in and I do this, and I grab the back end of this brush, and I start dragging the color through. Now the opportunities to do all kinds of really interesting things really expand. Again, this is wet, so I can't really lift it up, but you can see what's going on. So let's bring in some of this purple metallic and drop a little bit in here. And this is kind of the experimentation. I haven't done a lot of this. This stuff is so new that there really hasn't been time. But you can see that I can change this around and do some pretty interesting things with it. You can scribble with it for all intents and purposes. Now, because it's alcohol ink until it dries, it'll continue to morph and bloom. You can see that going on here. But there are 
lots of different ways that you can work with these colors and with the neons and the metallics and especially those glitters rounding out the original palette of 20 something I forget exactly what it is now there are well over 30 colors and so there's plenty for you to choose from choose from as you create with alcohol inks